Okay, clarinets, this is going to be the embouchure video for how to create your embouchure. So I have with me just the, the barrel and the mouthpiece. So we are going to put our lower lip over our teeth like so. So half of our lip is in her mouth, half is out. My teeth are right here. I should be able to feel my teeth underneath my lip. So my teeth are like this, my lip is a hook. Pull down, flatten my chin, get my corners to come in like this, like you're saying, ooh. The saying we say is flat chin, corners in. Flat chin, corners in. Flat chin, corners in. The reed will sit on top of our lip. Our teeth will sit on top like so. Well, about a half of an inch. So about here, you can even see on my mouthpiece where my teeth lie. You don't want too little, but then again, you don't want too much. So how do you know if you have too little or too much? If there's too little, it sounds a little bit fuzzy, too much, and you'll squeak and it sounds really open and yucky. Okay, so perfect amount. It's about half an inch. It'll be a little bit different for each person. Lower lip, corners in, teeth on top, and simply blow. Make sure your teeth are resting on top. Make sure your lower lip is over your teeth. Make sure you have a decent grip. You don't want to bite, but you want it to be firm enough so that if you move it, it's not going to do that. Okay? It's not going to move. If it moves, that means it's too loose. Finally, you want to make sure that you're about a 45 degree angle. So about here, roughly around here, it's going to be different per person. But we're not going to be straight out, and we're not going to be straight down at a 90 degree. We'll figure the exact angle out as we go, but for now, about 45 degrees. And blow through the instrument. So when you put that on the instrument, that sound will carry on through. So before you practice with the instrument, practice with this. It's called our embouchure check. So we're going to check our embouchure, make sure our embouchure is formed correctly. All right, we'll go practice that and then put it on the clarinet, see how it sounds.